What's up, guys? It's Chad with Living the Van Life up here in Washington. It is January 24th, I do believe, just to double check, where am I at? Actually, January 23rd. Uh, might as well be the 24th at this point. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, just giving you guys a video update. I'm here in the edit studio where I've been doing most of my work on my editing um, videos and films and photos and all that stuff. So I've uh, been getting really, really busy. Got lots of uh, lots of work falling into my lap, which is a good thing. Uh, it's finally getting to a point here after, uh, well, going on three years of being self-employed or not employed by a full-time employer um, to where work's finally starting to come on a regular basis. So that's really good. Um, anyways, uh, yeah, just wanted to give you guys an update. It's been a little while. Uh, just been hard at it. Um, it's 2014 starting the, uh, starting the year off right with, uh, really wanting to, uh, focus more on the business end of my photography and stuff like that. Um, it's one thing to be living in a van and, being able to skimp a little bit on responsibility and stuff like that. But when it comes down to it, it's time to get serious. I uh, got to secure myself a living and all that good stuff. So um, good news is, like I said, I've got lots of work coming up. I've got some pretty big adventures coming up I'm thinking of. Um, I'm pretty excited about I had a uh, big phone call here over the weekend and going to be working with uh, a motorcycle, um, well, a big corporate company that uh, manufactures motorcycles. Uh, I'm going to be doing hopefully quite a bit of subcontractor work or contractor work with them uh, doing filming uh, and some photography and stuff. The good news is uh, that's going to be some great income coming my way. Um, it is... Consistent enough to be able to um, hopefully stash some money away, but then also it allows me enough time to be able to do my thing. So it's kind of a dream come true. Um, it all comes back to sacrifice, making sacrifice. I look back on what it took to, to get to this position to where I've got work falling into my lap and I can say yes to it. Um, I haven't been... Working a full-time job to where I have to say no to it because my schedule, the position that I've put myself, my schedule allows me to say yes to this work. And I think that's what's really landing me these opportunities. It all comes down to the sacrifice I made of living in my van. So anyways, um, the van was on a road trip here a couple weeks ago. Um, the girlfriend and I, Alyssa, wanted to go on a road trip here a couple of weeks ago. We took off. We headed towards Whitefish, Montana for a quick little uh, ski vacation. And while we were over there, the van transmission decided to stop working. So here we are over in Whitefish, Montana in the middle of wintertime. Stuck. It wasn't a good situation. I ended up getting stranded on the highway, headed out to Glacier National Park, had to call a tow truck. They came and towed us off the road. Luckily, I was able to find a dealership, a Volkswagen dealership, who was willing to take in my van again, which is a hard uh, situation to find, especially when it comes to dealerships. Um, in Whitefish, Montana, there wasn't any small shops that were apparent anyways um, that were van... Uh, Volkswagen Vanigan experts. So I called that dealership, which by the way, they took the most excellent care of my van and me and Alyssa in our situation. DePrado Ford Volkswagen, the dealership there in Whitefish, absolutely amazing. Um, Marsha there at the service counter took great care of us, gave us a loaner truck, uh, a pickup truck. They pulled it off their lot and allowed us to use that uh, while our van was down uh, for the count. The other half of 
what made that experience very, very good was a company in Bend, Oregon by the name of German Transaxle of America. And for anybody running any type of Volkswagen, Vanagon, car, bus, bug, Beetle, whatever you've got, Volkswagen, the guys at German Transaxle of America will take care of any of your transmission needs. Those guys were awesome. They came very highly recommended by Joe over at Europro, who really took care uh, care of uh, my motor situation when I was down in uh, Southern California. So anyways, um, German Transaxle, those guys built a transmission for me from scratch overnight, was able to get it on a um, freight truck and headed towards Whitefish, Montana. Make a long story short, uh, we were able to get a new transmission in that van and going within a few days, um, which originally was going to be a couple weeks. Um, it wasn't it wasn't looking good, but I was able to pull some strings with some people that were uh, very important out there and got me taken care of. So anyways, that was my, my van transmission fiasco. Um, that cost me a lot of money. But now with the new Subaru motor in there and the new transmission in there, the only thing that I can figure happening from now is the doors start falling off. <laughs> so, But anyways, let's cross our fingers that that doesn't happen. So where I'm going with this is um, here next week, I'm going to be taking off to California for two weeks uh, as one of the first initial jobs of working with this motorcycle company uh, and doing some work with those guys. I'm very excited for the adventure. I'm going to take the van down there. Me and a buddy of mine who I'm taking down to assist me with uh, camera work and stuff on this job. Um, we're going to road trip it down there. So hopefully we'll be doing lots of, uh, van videos on the way, some, uh, adventures and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, that's coming up. Very, very excited for the opportunities that follow even this job. Um, these guys just have a big calendar of events going on and it looks like I'll be able to do some traveling and some great experiences all while doing what I love doing. And that's being behind my camera and traveling and all that stuff. All thank you to living the van life. So it's all great. Anyways, that's an update. I hope everybody's doing good out there. I cannot even begin to describe the amount of dis uh, subscribers that I have coming in. Thank you so much for everybody, all the subscribers coming in. Totally, totally awesome. I'm like blown away by it. My subscriber count just like keeps climbing and climbing. So huge shout out to all you guys out there. Thank you for following along on the van life. And uh, here's, here's to more coming, um, more van adventures. So I'll see you guys on the road here in a couple weeks and uh, be showing you guys what's going on. Hopefully we got some adventure coming away and we can capture it and throw it on living the van life. Really excited to be headed down to Southern California. I was down there a year ago for two months. Absolutely loved the adventure. That was uh, van living at its finest. And that's what I'm hoping for this time. So I've got to get to work on doing some editing here. i got to finish up uh, and edit before I head down to California and all that stuff. So I'm going to be working on that. All right, guys. I hope everybody's doing good out there, out there in YouTube land. Anyways, I'm out of here. Peace out. Keep on trucking. You know it.